James's sister, his older sister, by two years, when she was born, I mean, she did everything pretty much right on schedule, you know, and she caught on very fast. When James came along, everything just seemed to be just getting pushed off, like it just wasn't happening. It took him a long time. Two pediatricians just said, ah, they all develop differently. He just might be lazy. But when the seizures started showing up and we brought that to the doctor's attention, we realized, yeah, something is wrong with it. On day one with the first seizure, your first questions are, is my kid gonna have a second? Uh, it's not what syndrome do they have. They're having a seizure. There's an event. When Heather was 23 months old, she had her first seizure. It's like her whole body was just sort of jerking. And it happened every day at daycare for about a week, but I didn't understand the seriousness of it. I figured we would give her some medication and it would go away, kind of like an antibiotic. It would fix it. And he would just be sitting there getting his little eye blinks and his head would nod and we just figured he was tired. Then it got to the point where maybe his whole head would drop or he would just kind of lay limp on the floor. But the seizures are just one part of it. She wasn't walking, she wasn't talking. All of her milestones had been delayed and the pediatrician at the time had pushed everything off because she was the youngest in a big family. I at first thought that if we got control of the seizures that he would start to develop normally. And his neurologist said that may not be the case. One of the biggest unspoken questions that happens in a clinic visit is, why did this happen to my child? And I reassure them that there's nothing that they did to cause their child to have this problem. They ran testing to determine if it was inherited or not, and they determined that it was not. Didn't make it any, you know, easier to accept what was going on. The problem with Lennox Gusteau is it, it's not just one thing. In addition to causing seizures, it causes a lot of other problems, and these need to be addressed by other health professionals. She started physical and occupational therapy at about 30 months, and she was making progress the entire time. We just went on. 